All right, now to this surprising discovery that is defying the laws of science. Uh, crowds are flocking to the small town of Gower, Missouri to view a Catholic nun's body that appears to show no signs of decay. The veneration of incorrupt bodies is a significant aspect of the Catholic Church, captivating both the devout and the curious. These phenomena involve the mortal remains of saints resisting decay and maintaining a lifelike appearance serving as tangible reminders of holiness and divine intervention. Incorruptible bodies, such as those of St. Bernadette Soubirous in Lourdes and St. Catherine Labour in Paris, inspire awe and deep spiritual contemplation. Powerful um, experience, very powerful. It's one of the most rare events in the whole of the United States. Not that old, but I've never heard of that in my life. Exploring the mysteries surrounding these saints' bodies sheds light on the enduring power of faith and encourages reflection on the intersection of the physical and the divine. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of 11 incorruptible bodies within the Catholic Church. Number 11. Saint Bernadette de Lourdes Have you always been fascinated by mysterious stories from history, especially those connected to religion? One topic that catches your interest is the phenomenon of incorruptible bodies. Saints, whose remains did not decompose as expected after death. One of the most famous examples is Saint Bernadette Soubirous, known for her mystical visions of the Virgin Mary in Lourdes, France. Bernadette was only 14 years old when she began seeing apparitions of a beautiful lady in a grotto. Though illiterate, she was able to understand and describe the lady who spoke to her in her native Occitan language. Despite skepticism from authorities, a spring emerged where Bernadette said the lady instructed her to dig. Miraculous healings were soon attributed to the spring waters. Soon, thousands of pilgrims started flocking to Lourdes seeking cures. When Bernadette died of tuberculosis in 1879 at age 35, her body was buried in the convent in Nevers. At the exhumation in 1909, expecting to find mere bones, her sister found her body perfectly preserved. Her face, hands and feet, still retaining a lifelike appearance despite three decades underground. Her skin was described as supple but dry, and her body was flexible. Subsequent examinations in 1919 and 1925 also found her body incorrupt. To this day, over a century later, St. Bernadette's body is on display for pilgrims in a crystal casket in the chapel of St. Gildard in Nevers. It's covered by a glass window and dress for modesty, but her face and visible features still appear normal, as if she were simply sleeping. The body has not undergone any special embalming or treatment. It remains incorrupt in its natural state. For many Catholics, this is seen as proof of her holiness. It's certainly an extraordinary phenomenon that has puzzled scientists. While some attribute it to environmental factors like dry soil or lack of oxygen, others see it as a miraculous divine intervention. Do you find St. Bernadette's story from her visions to her incorruptible remains, captivating. It serves as a testament to her deep faith and role in establishing Lourdes as one of the major sites of Catholic pilgrimage in the world. Number 10, St. Francis Xavier. When it comes to saints whose remains have resisted decomposition, St. Francis Xavier is one of the most well-known examples. As one of the original Jesuit missionaries who spread Catholicism around the world in the 1500, his story has always been fascinating. But it was only recently that this incredible fact was learned. The incredible fact is that over four years later, his body is still intact. A testament to this holy man's saintly life and works. Born in 1506 in Spain, Francis Xavier traveled extensively throughout Asia, implementing his Go Forth and Teach All Nations mission. He's credited with converting over a million people in India and other countries before his death in 1552 on the Chinese island of Shangchuan. But his work would continue to inspire many long after through his preserved remains. When exhumed for transferal in 1614, observers were amazed to find his body completely flexible, as if he had died just days prior. While skin had shrunken over bone and turned blackish, Internal organs and facial features were intact. This incorruptibility was taken as a sign from God of his divine election. Subsequent viewings in the 1700s and 1800s showed no further decomposition had taken place. 
Even today at the Basilica of Balm Jesus in Goa, India, where St. Francis Xavier's silver casket has rested since 1614, his dried and darkened body can be seen. It remains in a remarkable state of preservation, startling pilgrims who file past his open casket. Periodic medical examinations as recent as 1953 have affirmed there is no fungal infection or trace of natural preservatives present. The phenomenon of St. Francis's incorruptible remains reminds me of God's ability to bring eternal glory even out of physical death. Though his missionary work achieved great triumphs, it also meant living a life of constant travel, danger, and illness. And yet this holy man's courage and spiritual victories continue inspiring Catholics around the globe centuries later. For that reason alone, St. Francis Xavier remains one of the all-time great Catholic saints whose story we'll never forget. Number 9. St. Catherine Labour While growing up, you might remember learning about miracles associated with some Catholic saints like healing waters or incorrupt bodies. One of these saints whose story is always fascinating is St. Catherine Labour, famous for receiving visions of Mary with instructions for the miraculous medal. What many may not know is that over 150 years later, her body remains as preserved and flexible as the day she died. Born in 1806 in France, Catherine joined the Daughters of Charity Order and cared for the sick and poor. In 1830, she experienced Marian apparitions inside the Mother House Chapel in Paris, where Mary revealed to her the design for the medal. Engraved with symbolic images, it became one of the most widely distributed sacramentals in the world. Catherine spent the rest of her life humbly serving others without drawing attention to her visions. She died suddenly in 1876 at age 78 and was buried in the Order's cemetery. In 1933, her remains were exhumed for potential recognition as venerable. To the astonishment of all present, her body was discovered in a state of incorruption looking as fresh as if asleep. Officials then had her relocated to the Order's Mother House Chapel, the very site of her visions. Her undecayed body has since been visited by millions of pilgrims who come to pray for Mary's intercession. Though over 145 years have passed, Catherine's body remains preserved with flexible limbs and lifelike facial features. Her face in particular retains a natural, peaceful expression, indicating no signs of physical demise. Periodic examinations confirm this is not due to any embalming, but rather her body's natural state. For Catholics, this enduring incorruption serves as a testament to the extraordinary sanctity of this humble nun who received heavenly encouragement for the Church. Even today, with continued pilgrimage to witness the miracle, St. Catherine Labour's preservation can be seen as a divine reminder of God's ability to conquer death through those called to holiness. Her incorrupt body reminds us that true faith and virtue live on long after we're called home. Number 8. St. Veronica Giuliani Have you always been intrigued by female Catholic mystics throughout history? One that might catch your interest is St. Veronica Giuliani, known for her extraordinary mystical experiences as well as, you guessed it, an incorrupt body. Her story proves that holiness truly knows no bounds of gender. Born in 1660 in present-day Italy, Veronica joined the Capuchin Poor Clare Monastery at a young age despite facing opposition. There she endured great physical suffering from illnesses and brutal treatments ordered by an overzealous abbess. Through it all, Veronica had detailed visions of Christ's passion that left marks like stigmata on her body. She also received revelations about her spiritual life. Sadly, some church officials grew doubtful of Veronica's claims due to her being a nun in a male-run organization. She faced repeated interrogations and accusations of faking her experiences. Can you imagine putting up with all that while also battling ill health? It's amazing this strong woman didn't lose her faith. In the end, Veronica was vindicated as her mystical writings were examined and deemed authentic. She spent her final years promoting devotion to Christ's wounds and teaching other nuns until her death at age 66 in 1727. Fast forward to her exhumation centuries later. And get this, her body was found in an astounding state of preservation. Even today, nearly 300 years later, St. Veronica's undecomposed body is displayed for veneration inside a sarcophagus at the monastery in Citta di Castello, Italy. When her remains were examined scientifically in 2001, 
They showed no signs of decay. Her skin was still intact and her facial features clearly defined. Preservation experts were baffled, ruling out naturally occurring factors. Veronica's story, from her battles against illness and doubts to her miraculously intact earthly remains, epitomizes courage, faith, and holiness. Next time you are feeling inadequate in your journey, look to this superhero of a saint, who we are certain is still interceding for us up above in her incorrupt glory. Number seven, Saint Virginia Centurion. As a history buff, we find exploring saints' legacies fascinating. One lesser known figure who recently caught our interest is Saint Virginia Centurione, known not just for her pious life, but something remarkable after death. Born in Genoa, Italy in 1747, Virginia faced many hardships from a young age after losing her mother. Left in the care of an aunt, she endured abuse and rejection. Yet through it all, her deep faith sustained her. At 16, she began working with the St. Vincent de Paul Society to serve the poor, sick, and imprisoned often out of her meager wages. Virginia selflessly dedicated her life to acts of mercy and charity. Despite struggles with her health, she persisted in visiting hospitals, orphanages, anywhere the disadvantaged needed aid. Her kindness knew no bounds. Tragically, at only 36 years old, Virginia succumbed to typhus while nursing patients. Everyone mourned the loss of their guardian angel. Nearly 200 years later, in 1983, her remains were exhumed for examination as part of her beatification process. To the astonishment of all present, her body was found in a remarkably preserved state. Her lifelike skin, joints, and organs showed no signs of decay, astonishing experts. Subsequent studies failed to find natural causes for this enduring incorruption. Today, Virginia's holy relics continue drawing pilgrims to her shrine church in Genoa. Her preserved physical form serves as a reminder that acts of charity truly do last beyond one lifetime. For those facing their own struggles, she serves as a role model that faith and compassion can uplift souls and has the power to change lives, even long after one has physically passed. Number six, San Juan Maria Vianney. When studying saints, it's often their inner holiness that offers the deepest lessons. Take San Juan Maria Vianney, the beloved cure d'Ars. While miracles happened around him, it was his profound compassion that outshone all. Born in 1786 in France, San Juan Maria struggled in school but felt called to the priesthood. Due to the turmoil of the French Revolution, he didn't begin seminary until age 26. Though his studies were difficult, San Juan Maria persevered through prayer and would become a giant in the realms of faith and mercy. Ordained in 1815, Father Vianney was sent to lead the parish of Ars, a rundown village where practice had grown lax. Through his absolute devotion to hearing confession, counseling souls, and celebrating mass with utmost reverence, San Juan Maria's lovingly guided his flock back to faith. It's said he would spend 12 to 16 hours daily in the confessional, often in the dead of winter, listening without judgment to all who came. San Juan Maria's deep well of compassion knew no bounds as he consoled people where they were. Through gentle wisdom, he nurtured hope in countless hearts. San Juan Maria's immense goodness impacted so many that people flocked daily to ours from all over France and beyond, hoping to make a general confession of their lives. He welcomed one and all, rich and poor alike, with open arms. Late in life as fame grew, Juan remained completely humble, focused solely on his priestly duties and ever deepening his life of prayer. Witnesses said they saw his emaciated body lifted into the air during prayer in the hours he wasn't listening to confessions. When Juan Maria Vianney passed away in 1859 after decades of selfless service, over 20,000 mourners attended his funeral. To this day, Ars remains a destination for those seeking his intercession or consolation regarding the conundrums of soul and spirit. San Juan Maria's incorruptible body has been described as supple, flexible, and remarkably lifelike. Despite the passage of over a century and a half, it has shown minimal signs of decomposition. This phenomenon has left many in awe as it defies the natural laws of decay that typically affect human remains. The incorruptible state of San Juan Maria's body has been attributed to his deep sanctity 
and the profound faith he embodied during his lifetime. It is believed to be a divine sign, highlighting his spiritual holiness and serving as an inspiration for the faithful. Visitors who have encountered the saint's incorrupt body have reported experiencing a powerful sense of awe and reverence. Many claim to have perceived a sweet fragrance emanating from the remains, which is often associated with the odor of sanctity attributed to incorruptible saints. San Juan Maria's incorruptible state has further solidified his status as a spiritual role model and intercessor within the Catholic Church. His preserved body serves as a tangible reminder of the enduring power of faith and the potential for holiness in the lives of ordinary individuals. Devotees and pilgrims from around the world continue to visit the shrine where San Juan Maria's incorruptible body is displayed, seeking solace, guidance, and blessings. His incorruptibility remains a subject of fascination and wonder, inviting contemplation on the mysteries of divine intervention and the persistence of the sacred in the physical realm. San Juan Maria truly stands as the saint of mercy. His profound empathy, shaped by profound prayer, is a light for our world still. May we all strive for compassion so overflowing, it transforms both giver and receiver. It's time for our subscribers pick. Talking about incorruptible bodies, it is undoubtedly a phenomenon that we cannot understand. They so much defy the natural order of things that we all are left in awe. In fact, there has been no scientific backing for these happenings. Nevertheless, they exist. In other words, these divine happenings could be likened to divinity being revealed in dead saints. Some people even believe that these incorruptible saints are much alive and present with us spiritually. Take for instance Saint Nicholas of Tolentino, whose thumb continued to bleed for over 400 years after his passing. Then there is Saint Charbel Maklouf, the Lebanese hermit, whose body emitted a sweet fragrance and remained incorrupt for many years. It was even reported that his body secreted a liquid which, when touched by the faithful, resulted in miraculous healings through his intercession. These occurrences defy scientific explanations, leaving us in wonder and awe. What do you think of these incorruptible bodies of the Catholic Church? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Number 5. St. Teresa Margaret In the realm of incorruptible bodies within the Catholic Church, one name that sparks profound fascination and devotion is St. Teresa Margaret of the Sacred Heart. Born Anna Maria Redi in 1747 in Arezzo, Italy, she entered the Discalced Carmelite Order at a young age and dedicated her life to prayer, penance, and serving God. After her death in 1770 at the tender age of just 23, her body took on an extraordinary state of incorruptibility, captivating the faithful and drawing pilgrims from far and wide. The incorruptible body of St. Teresa Margaret serves as a testament to her exceptional sanctity and the divine favor bestowed upon her. When her tomb was opened in 1780, a decade after her passing, her body was discovered to be remarkably preserved, as if she were merely sleeping. Witnesses described her appearance as serene and lifelike, with her eyes slightly open and her facial features intact. What sets St. Teresa Margaret's incorruptibility apart is the flexibility of her body. Unlike other cases where bodies become rigid or stiff, her limbs remained supple and movable. This flexibility has been a source of wonder and awe for those who have had the opportunity to witness this extraordinary phenomenon. The incorruptible state of St. Teresa Margaret's body has been attributed to her profound holiness and her life of deep union with God. She was known for her intense prayer life and her dedication to the mystical teachings of St. Teresa of Avila. It is believed that her unwavering faith and her ardent love for Christ played a significant role in the preservation of her mortal remains. Visitors to the shrine of St. Teresa Margaret have reported experiencing a sense of profound peace and spiritual consolation in her presence. Many have testified to the fragrance of roses that emanates from her body, a phenomenon often associated with the odor of sanctity attributed to incorruptible saints. This delicate fragrance is a tangible reminder of her heavenly intercession and the enduring power of her sanctity. The incorruptible body of Saint Teresa Margaret continues to inspire devotion and pilgrimage. 
Her remains are enshrined in the Carmelite Monastery of Santa Maria Maddalena de Pazzi in Florence, Italy, where they are venerated by the faithful. Numerous miracles and graces have been attributed to her intercession, further reinforcing her status as a powerful spiritual advocate. The phenomenon of incorruptibility in the Catholic Church remains a mystery that defies scientific explanation. It is not a guarantee of sainthood, as many holy individuals have not experienced this extraordinary preservation of their bodies. Rather, it is considered a divine gift, bestowed upon select individuals as a sign of their exceptional holiness and their closeness to God. Saint Teresa Margaret of the Sacred Heart stands as a luminous example of a life wholly surrendered to God. Her incorruptible body bears witness to her profound union with the divine, inspiring countless souls to seek a deeper relationship with Christ and to embrace the path of sanctity. As the faithful continue to flock to her shrine, Saint Teresa Margaret's incorruptible body remains a beacon of hope and a reminder of the eternal destiny that awaits those who faithfully follow the path of love and devotion. Her story serves as an enduring testament to the transformative power of faith, the beauty of holiness, and the mysterious workings of divine grace within the Catholic Church. Number 4. Saint Rita of Cascia Born in 1381, Saint Rita lived during a tumultuous period in Italy's history. She was married at a young age, enduring a difficult and abusive marriage. Despite the challenges she faced, she remained steadfast in her faith and sought solace in prayer. After her husband's death, Saint Rita entered the Augustinian convent of Cascia, where she dedicated herself to a life of contemplation and service to God. She became known for her deep devotion to Christ and her unwavering commitment to forgiveness and reconciliation. When Saint Rita died in 1457, her body was initially buried in the convent's cemetery. Several years later, her tomb was opened, and to everyone's astonishment, her body was found to be incorrupt. It was a profound and miraculous occurrence that sparked a wave of reverence and devotion. News of Saint Rita's incorruptible body spread far and wide, drawing pilgrims from near and far. People flocked to Cassia, hoping to experience the tangible presence of this holy woman. Witnessing her preserved body became a transformative and deeply spiritual experience for many. Over time, St. Rita's body underwent a few changes. Due to natural decomposition, her face and hands became partially mummified. To preserve her memory and maintain her incorruptible status, a wax mask was placed over her face and gloves covered her hands. This unique preservation technique allowed her to remain accessible to future generations. Saint Rita's incorruptible body serves as a powerful symbol of her sanctity and the spiritual impact she had during her life. She is revered as the patron saint of impossible causes, and countless individuals have attributed their prayers being answered and miracles happening through her intercession. Visiting the shrine of Saint Rita in Cassia is a profound pilgrimage for believers. The opportunity to stand in the presence of her incorrupt body is awe-inspiring and evokes a deep sense of connection with the divine. It's a chance to reflect on the power of faith, the importance of forgiveness, and the enduring legacy of a woman who sought God's will in the face of adversity. St. Rita's story is a testament to the transformative power of grace and the triumph of love over suffering. Her incorruptible body stands as a visible testament to the eternal truths of the Catholic faith and the enduring presence of God's grace in the world. So, if you ever find yourself in Cassia, take a moment to visit the shrine of Saint Rita, witness the remarkable preservation of her body, and allow yourself to be touched by the extraordinary presence of a woman whose faith and resilience continue to inspire generations. Number 3. Saint Nicholas of Tolentino Saint Nicholas of Tolentino was born in 1245 Anno Domini. He lived in the 13th century in Italy and was a major holy man. He founded several religious communities, did tons of charity work, fasted like crazy, and was known for performing all sorts of miracles during his lifetime. When he died in 1305 at the ripe old age of 82, they entombed his body at the Basilica of Fermo where he served. Over the next few centuries, they would open up his tomb several times to examine his remains. Get this, each time his body was found completely intact, like he had just dropped dead moments ago. His skin, 
muscles, internal organs, everything was still there and as fresh as the day he kicked the bucket over 600 years prior. No signs of decomposition or decay at all. Pretty wild, right? Observers said when they'd examine him, his body was described as being flexible and soft, like they could move his arms and toes and everything was still limber and pliable. His blood vessels were full and his flesh was rosy. No way was this body hundreds of years old based on appearance alone. But it gets even crazier. When they last opened his tomb in 1881, over 550 years after his death, his tongue was observed to still be red like normal tissue. How is any of that even possible? For reference, most normal corpses are skeletons after just a decade or two buried underground. This guy looks as good as new after over 600 years in a tomb. There's no way science can explain that one. The Catholic Church says it's a testament to his profound holiness in life. Do you think Saint Nicholas worked some pretty powerful posthumous magic to keep his meat suit fresh like that for so long? Incorrupt bodies are just one of those unexplainable supernatural elements of the faith that makes me keep coming back. You gotta come check out St. Nicholas's preserved body for yourself next time you're in Italy. It's a must-see miracle. Number 2. Blessed Pope Pius IX So after hearing about St. Nicholas of Tolentino and other saints keeping their body fresh for centuries, are you still curious about other incorruptible corpses in the church? Learning about two more would be nice, don't you think? One of the most well-known is Blessed Pope Pius IX. He lived from 1792 to 1878, served as the Bishop of Rome from 1846 until his death, and was one of the longest reigning popes in history at over 30 years. His preserved remains are on display underneath St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. For a body that's been kaput since 1878, he's holding up pretty well. When Pius IX passed away, he was originally buried in the grottoes below St. Peter's, but in 1881, they did some restoration work down there and took the opportunity to examine his body again. Get this, only three years after kicking it, his body was found completely intact and flexible. His skin was still there, as were his muscles, organs, and internal tissue. His legs and arms could still be moved around like a living person. Apparently, when they were transferring him to his new tomb site, there were even eyewitness reports of liquid dripping from his nose when they moved him. How grossly fascinating is that? The Vatican considers Pius IX's preserved condition a sign of his deep devotion to God and life. Do you think he just didn't want to fully decompose and leave this mortal plane behind quite yet? Jokes aside, it really is incredible that after over 140 years encased in a sealed tomb, his body is still looking remarkably fresh-faced for a nonagenarian pope. Unlike a lot of historical figures from back in the day who are only bones now, this holy head honcho is still largely intact. You should make a trip to the Vatican someday and see him for yourself. Even after a century and a half, he's still defying all logic and keeping his papal corpse chilling. Incorruptibility is just too wild. Number 1. Saint Charbel Maklouf Saint Charbel Maklouf from Lebanon lived in the 19th century and was a Maronite Catholic priest known for his deep prayer life and holiness. Unfortunately, he died relatively young at age 53 in 1898 from a stroke. But when they examined his remains just over two years later in May 1900, his body was found to be completely incorrupt. Witnesses said when they opened up his wooden coffin, his body was described as being supple, with no signs of decomposition at all. His skin had yellowed a bit, but apparently there was no real damage, and his organs were reportedly still intact inside of him. How wild is that? It really makes you wonder what kind of mysterious supernatural mojo these sanctified saints must have had to defy nature like that. After examining him, their dressed Father Charbel in fresh monastic robes and entombed him permanently in a marble sarcophagus. And to this day, over 120 years later, multiple examinations have shown that his body is still in the same incorrupt state as first witnessed in 1900. When his tomb was last opened in 1950 and again in 2020, he was found completely preserved, practically fresh as the day he died, if not for some yellowing of the skin. Gotta respect a holy man who refuses to commit fully to the grave no matter how much time passes. Sadly, you can't see Charbel's body yourself because he permanently rests in his tomb in St. Maron Basilica in Lebanon. 
but his incorruptible remains are a testament to the profound and enduring holiness of this man of prayer. When death can't keep you down, you know you must have had some serious supernatural sway in life too. Pretty crazy stuff from these incorruptible saints, right? Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.